weighing scales. Every woman's fear. Mine as well. We're all obsessed with it. We all don't like what it says most of the time, but we all still step on that step on them weighing scales every single day, some of us, some of us twice a day. The reason I'm doing this video is I just want to give a little bit of advice from personal experience, um, as, as I always do. Everything I do is always from my personal experience. With regards to scales, we all heavily rely on them to to give us the, the, the results and the progress of, of what we're doing with regards to losing weight when really they never ever show the full picture. Obviously, you know, it's I, I get that it's really hard to kick the habit. Um, I struggle myself, but I just thought if I give you a few tips and a little bit of information, it may, you know, reduce how you feel when you step on the scales when it doesn't always say what you want to see. I totally get that when we step on that scales and it tells us we've lost weight, it gives us the boost and, and you know makes you makes you want to succeed. But what happens when we don't see the result we want to see on the scales? We've stayed the same or we've just gained a pound or two. It really is disheartening and I think throws most people off track, um, including myself. I think if we can start concentrating on measuring. Um, and not just concentrating on what the scales say, so do both. You might find that you haven't lost on the scales, but you've lost two inch with the, with the measure tape. Um, and what is most important to us? Losing two inch. That is going to get us down in a dress size. That is going to get us feeling comfortable in our clothes. And that is going to get people noticing we've lost weight. As most of you know, our body's made up of around 60% water. And our body is, works hard every day trying to keep that balance. Unfortunately, some of us can retain water, which means it, that sh will show on the scales. That doesn't mean you've gained two pound of fat, that's water, but that's not what the scales tell you. Also, uh, us women all have the menstrual cycle. With that, we can gain, again, water retention, which can give us a, a gain of up to five pound. Again, this is not five pounds of a fat, but the scales don't tell you that. They tell you you've gained five pound. We all go into meltdown. Um, but yeah, so I'm just thinking, you know, if we can, if we can ditch the scales, maybe it's even not as frequent, not as weighing as often. So maybe it's every two weeks weigh, but every week measure. I'm sure it'll keep you on track. It'll help. It'll give you the boost that you need, rather than uh, concentrating on what the scales are saying completely. And another thing I'd like to mention is about weight increases. Weight increases doesn't always mean you've gained fat. Uh, there's a number of factors that can mean you've gained weight. It could be uh, muscle weight, it could be uh, the food that you've eaten, water retention, which I've al already mentioned. Um, it's not the, the, the number on that scales or the number that you know you feel that you are 14 stone, 12 stone, 11 stone isn't always measure, measuring the, you know, the amount of body fat you've had. So bear that in mind when you are weighing as well, especially if you're training. I have a lot of ladies training who, and the weight sticks. Mine does. As soon as I start training, my weight doesn't want to shift, but my, my clothes are looser. Uh, so, you know, you need to find that balance and, and realise that weighing scales aren't the number one um, progress report for, your, for how you're doing. Um, Try your best to limit the amount of time to step on the scales and I'm sure it will keep you a lot more focused. You'll be happier because, I mean, another thing that I do, I can feel really slim after a week and step on scales, I'm like, oh, I've stayed the same, but I feel slimmer. My clothes are slimmer. So this is what I'm saying. As long as, measure it by how you're feeling. Measure it by your tape measure. Don't measure it just by those scales. And that's just a little bit of advice from me. Thank you.